Hi, today we are going to see the performance comparison of our theorem using different modulation techniques. We can quickly go through the importance of OFDM here. With the increasing mobile users every day and the available spectrum which is very limited, we need to find new ways to provide the service at high data speeds. And how can we do this? One way is to use orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. And also the modulation technique that we use along with the OFDM affects the performance of the overall system. So this has been studied here. The modulation techniques that we have studied here are BPSK, QPSK, QAM8, QAM16. Alright, whenever we talk about wireless communication and wireless transmission, the first question that comes to our mind is, why do we need to do modulation before transmitting the signal? The main reason here is because for proper transmission and efficient transmission, precisely, we need the antenna length equal to the wavelength of the transmitted signal. And generally, wireless communication in telecom has frequencies in the range 200 to 3000 hertz. So what is the antenna length for these frequencies? And doing a simple calculation, lambda equal to C by F, we, come, we get that the length of the antenna should be of 100 kilometers for a frequency of 3000 hertz which is unrealistic to design. So we need to change the frequency before transmitting. For example, if the lambda is like 10 centimeter, it corresponds to a frequency of 3 hertz. And the modern cell phones operate at frequencies around 2 hertz. So designing an antenna of length 10 centimeters makes more sense than designing an antenna of 100 kilometers. So that's the reason we need to modify the speed signal to match to the medium. And so that we can design an antenna that's of a reasonable size. Next, what is OFDM? OFDM is orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. What we hear what we do here is the information is sent using many parallel subcarriers instead of a single wide band carrier. This has the advantage that when there is an error in subcarrier, only that needs to be corrected instead of the entire link as in the case of single wide band carrier. In this project, I have used MATLAB communication toolbox, which has all the all the required boxes that are needed for doing the simulation, simulic model. And once the simulic model has been built, I've used the BER tool graphic user interface that is available in MATLAB to do the analysis of the system. Here is a simulic model that I have used in my project. Here the information is simulated to be a random integer. This is then sent to sent through the integer to bit converter block. Where the information is converted from integers to bits. Once this is done, we can see that in here we see BPSK modulator and each time again I've used a different modulator in, in, in this place and once the signal has been modulated then the information is divided between many sub carriers using the OFDM block. The detailed block diagram of this can be seen here.
in this OFDM block, we perform inverse first Fourier transform. And then we can see that there is a block to add cyclic prefix in order to reduce the ISI. And once the information is modulated using the OFDM technique, the information is now transmitted through the additive wide Gaussian noise channel. And at the receiver end, we have OFDM demodulation block and then the demodulator to recover the original information. And you can see that the error rate calculation block is used to find out the bit error rate. And once the once the simulink block model is built, built, then we open the bit error rate tool graphic user interface that is available in MATLAB by typing BER tool. And when we type BER tool, we get a GUI which looks similar to this. And in here, you need to select the model that you have built by clicking on browse and selecting the location where you have saved your simulate model. And then the EB number range has to be given here, like within here it's from 0 to 12 with steps of 3 and you can, you can select your own range. Once you have done that, you need to enter the simulation limits, like when does the simulation need to stop and you can specify your own values here. It's it stops when there are, when the number of errors are 100 or the number of bits are 10 power 8 and once you have selected all this just click on run and then you get the results each time just change the model here and then select the range here and then hit run, press run and finally you get results which are something like this and here I have repeated process four times for OFTM using QAM16, OFTM using QAM8, OFTM using QPSK, OFTM using BPSK. And here you can see the results. And for a lower EB number, we can see that the BER is almost of order of one here. And however, after 25, EB number 25, you can see a slight difference between the results using different modulation techniques. And we can clearly see that the BPSK or OFDM when you have when using BPSK has lower bit error rate for a particular EB number than all the other three. And between QAM 8 and QAM 16, QAM 8 has lower bit error rate than QAM 16 at a given EB number. And you can also see that for QPSK the bit error rate is almost constant throughout with just a slight fluctuation. Then to do the comparison I've done I calculated the theoretical bit error rate which can be done using the BER tool here. Here we have used the Monte Carlo instead of the then you click theoretical and then select the model bpsk or qpsk quam and you have like a lot of options there to select when you go to the tab, theoretical tab by going to that and then selecting the different things i have plotted the i plotted this and here we can see that the BER using bpsk is less than all other modulations which is which conforms the uh, our simulation results even though we are not using OFTM here keep in mind we are not using OFTM here we are just seeing the uh, different comparing the different modulation techniques without OFTM and then which uh, in the simulations uh, earlier we have done using the OFTM BPSK is less than all other modulation techniques also QPSK is almost same as QAM, that's why that's the reason why we cannot see here because one is all on the uh, one is above the other. 
QAM16 has higher BER compared to QAM, which we can see here clearly. So, what just to conclude, whatever we have done here, we have built a, have built a simulink model to test the performance of OFTM in MATLAB simulink, and then the different modulation techniques are used along with the OFTM. And once the models have been built, I have used the BER tool in MATLAB to do the analysis of the system. And finally, seeing the results of performance of OFDM with different modulation techniques was studied. And then we have observed the results uh, with different modulation techniques. And even though the, we have observed the BER results in the case of BPSK, we use modulation techniques like QAM8 and QAM16 because of the ease of the implementation of because of the ease of the implementation of these techniques. That's the end of the presentation. Thank you.